One of the biggest show offs from Google at the Made by Google event where the Pixel 9s were announced was Gemini Live. And on stage when they showed this, this is one of those demos that actually worked really well. And I was thinking maybe this is working a little bit too well. So I wanted to try it out for myself. And now I'm lucky that I've got Gemini Live working on both the Pixel 8 Pro and the S24 Ultra. So I'm gonna go through like a crash course of exactly what Gemini Live is all about. Firstly, if you haven't tried Gemini Live at any point yet, then it's like one of those features that is a little bit mind blowing. It just works so well. And this should be coming to a whole host of devices. It will be coming as standard on the Google Pixel 9s. And of course, Gemini is gonna replace Google Assistant as your default assistant. But as I mentioned, you can also get it on devices like the S24 Ultra and the Pixel 8 Pro. All you have to do is activate Assistant to get to Gemini Live. And once you're inside Gemini, you then just need to, on the bottom right of the screen, select that Gemini Live option, which you can see just at the bottom there. And as soon as you click that, you will go straight into the Gemini Live feature. Right, first off, when you start Gemini Live for the first time, you will get 10 voices to pick from, and you can scroll through all of these and pick your favorites, and you can also change the voice later on in settings if you get bored of them. But I really like Vega, Orbit, Ursa, and Orion. If you end up going with Capella, which is the British voice, just know not a single person in England sounds like that. This voice sounds like everybody on that TV series, You, on Netflix, in like the latest series when they're in the UK, but no one sounds like this. Be honored to be the voice you choose for Gemini. The conversations that you can have though with Gemini are so natural and you can have continuous conversations. So you don't have to stop and wake up the assistant every couple of minutes by saying, hey, or okay, Google. You can just continue to carry on asking it questions. You also don't have to stay inside that Gemini Live UI. So if you're chatting to it, you can actually just go about with using your phone as you would, which I think is a pretty nice bonus that it doesn't completely stop you from using your phone whilst talking to Gemini. The conversational part of Gemini Live is so good and it's actually really exciting. So I'm gonna show you how easy it is. I'm not gonna edit this and you can just see how quickly and how intelligently it can respond and just how much like having a real conversation it is. So what was Liverpool's last score? Liverpool won two to zero last Saturday against Ipswich. Okay, and what was the game like? Did Liverpool dominate or were Ipswich part of the game? Liverpool had a pretty strong performance. They didn't score until the second half, but they were definitely in control for most of the game. Ipswich put up a decent fight. Who but scored Liverpool the goals? Liverpool ultimately proved too strong. Diogo Jota opened the scoring for Liverpool in the 60th minute, followed by a goal from Mo Salah just five minutes later. Don't Liverpool have a new manager now? Yes, Liverpool has a new manager. His name is Arne Slot, and he took over from Jurgen Klopp. It'll be interesting to see how Liverpool does under his leadership. Do you think it'll be a difficult job for him or do you think it'll be quite simple? It's definitely a big job to step into. Liverpool's a massive club with a lot of expectations. Arne Slot had a lot of success with Feyenoord, so he's proven he knows how to manage a team. Whether it'll be easy or not, it's too early to say. And that shows you how good Gemini Live is. Like its answers are thought out. It's not just giving you generic answers. It kind of knows in depth the questions that you're asking. And as you saw, you can actually interrupt Gemini Live and ask it different questions or steer the conversations in different ways if you think of something that you want to ask. Let me show you another example of how this works. So now I'll just ask Gemini about a recipe for something. So can you give me a recipe for a cheesecake? Sure, here's a classic cheesecake recipe. It's a great base I actually need recipe, it to be vegan. though you can always switch things up. No problem. Here's a classic cheesecake recipe. Oh, can you this actually make sure that it is a lemon cheesecake as well? Sure, I can adjust the recipe to make a lemon cheesecake. So good. Since we're already making a vegan We also need it to be no bake. Thanks. Let me know if you want help with anything. Else. So I can totally help you out with a no bake cheesecake recipe. Since we already have a good base for a lemon cheesecake, let's adapt that. 
you'll need first. So we can show you how good it is when you just interrupt it and divert the conversation. I just think it's really well thought out and it's not like a gimmicky feature. I feel like I've used Gemini Live more than I had used Google Assistant in the past two weeks than I did in about a year. There are things that Gemini Live can't do. One of these is work without internet connection. So Gemini Live runs in the cloud completely. So there's nothing that can be done on device, which is a bit disappointing, but of course to get any of those answers, it needs to access the cloud. The other things that Gemini Live has no control over on your phone is it has no access to calendar, email, messages, and doesn't really know anything about you. Like it knows some general information like your location and anything you tell it inside of the conversation, but it doesn't know any personal information. This also means you can't ask Gemini Live to send a text message, make a call, send an email. It can't do any of those things. If you need help with that, you would just need to use Gemini Regular and come out of the Gemini Live UI. There are a couple of other cool things inside Gemini Live though that you can do. And if you ask it to translate a sentence, it will translate that sentence immediately, really quickly. You can also ask Gemini Live to give you the answer to the question that you're asking in a different language. So if you were to say to it, can you tell me where the closest McDonald's is, but give me the answer in French, it will give you the answer in French. D'accord, je peux vous aider avec ça. Pour trouver le McDonald's le plus proche, il faudrait que j'utilise Google Maps. You can also go back into Gemini and read all the answers and questions that you've had with Gemini Live. And you can go back into old conversations from that recent tab and you can continue the chat that you were already having maybe two or three days ago because Gemini Live remembers it. I do wish though there was a way you could go straight into Gemini Live without triggering the assistant and then selecting that Gemini Live option. You also have to manually end the conversation you're having with Gemini Live every single time. Otherwise, it will just keep listening in the background and even though you can tell it you're done with that conversation it kind of just like hangs around there waiting like someone who doesn't want to hang up the call first another part of gemini live and showing how intelligent it is is being able to ask it for gift ideas so i will ask it for a gift idea for a friend and it will ask questions back to get an idea of what gift it should suggest. So again, it's really simple. Can you give me a gift idea for my friend for their birthday? Sure, what kind of gift are you looking for? Is there a price range you're trying to stick to? I'd like to keep it under $50. A personalized touch can go a long way, even on a budget. Maybe a custom made card, where you write a heartfelt message. They're or if your friend likes to laugh, you could get a funny really mug with a joke or pop culture reference on it. Cooking and sports, as well as driving a car. In that case, maybe consider getting them a cookbook focused on their favorite cuisine or type of food. There are tons of options for different skill levels I don't like and interests. That. Can you give me another so suggestion sure based on their hobbies? Sure, here's another idea. You could get them a gift certificate for a cooking class or a sports themed experience, like hitting the batting cages or going to see a game together. Experiences can be a fun way to make Okay, new let's go with together. a sport experience. Can you find me a place that does that? All right, to find the best place for a sports experience, I'll need to know what sport your friend is into. They're into American football. All right, so you mentioned American football. Are you looking for something more like an experience day where they can try things like American football skills challenges or would they prefer tickets to an actual game? There you go. So you can see again, it doesn't just say, oh, okay, here is an activity. It wants to know more about the person and wants to know more about that certain activity. So it can just give you an idea and give you a suggestion that's accurate. It's really impressive. Overall, I think Gemini Live is really impressive. Like, I don't think I've ever used a new feature on a device more than I have used Gemini Live in the last couple of days. My hope next is that this comes to Google Nest devices because that would make having a smart home an actual smart home. It would be really cool. We'll see Gemini Live hands-free on the Pixel Buds Pro 2 that released in September as well, where you're actually able to have that conversation without having to trigger Gemini and then 
then go into Gemini Live. But let me know what you think of Gemini Live. Remember, if you don't get a new Pixel 9, which comes with 12 months free Gemini Advanced, you will actually have to subscribe to Gemini Advanced to use Gemini Live. But let me know in the comments what you think of this. I think it's really cool. I kind of love it. Before you head off, make sure you subscribe to the channel as well. And if you do that, then I will see you later.